Hi, let's walk through order management in Paragon. We call this configurable screen the list view. Here you can find all the orders that you have entered in the system. You've probably guessed that to add a new order you click this button. You have the option to create an order off of one or many existing transactions or you can create one manually. As soon as you select a customer, the addresses auto-populate. Paragon uses a Google API to make sure all the addresses are consistently formatted and you can store as many as you need by customer. Using the tab button, you can quickly enter all the required information and you can create as many of these customizable fields as you need. To make adding products as efficient as possible, you can apply list filtering rules, search for specific items, and view stock details all on one screen. You can add notes to line items or to the order itself. For costing purposes, you can track extra charges like freight and insurance. Taxes calculate automatically based on the ship to address, which is validated using a Google API. Once you finish entering your information, click the Save icon down here. These symbols give a snapshot of where each line item is in the process of getting shipped. You can pivot the way the order is displayed and right-click for more options. You can print this order by clicking the Go button or print multiple orders at a time in the reporting module. Universal searching makes finding specific orders quick and easy. Once you've selected the orders you need, click the print icon. You won't run into any issues because orders are output in PDF. You can easily customize this page by adding your logo and choosing what information to show. The reporting module has plenty of other pre-built status reports related to orders, like the sales journal and the order detail report. So this was Paragon's order module in a nutshell. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to get in touch at jonar.com.